In vascular plants, the root is the organ of a plant that typically lies below the surface of the soil. However, roots can also be aerial or aerating. Furthermore, a stem normally occurring below ground is not exceptional either. Therefore, the root is best defined as the non-leaf, non-nodes bearing parts of the plant's body. However, important internal structural differences between stems and roots exist. The first root that comes from a plant is called the radical. The four major functions of roots are 1, absorption of water and inorganic nutrients, 2, anchoring of the plant body to the ground, and supporting it, 3, storage of food and nutrients, 4, vegetative reproduction. In response to the concentration of nutrients, roots also synthesize cytokinin, which acts as a signal as to how fast the shoots can grow. Roots often function in storage of food and nutrients. The roots of most vascular plant species enter into symbiosis with certain fungi to form mycorrhizae, and a large range of other organisms including bacteria also closely associate with roots. Anatomy, when dissected, the arrangement of the cells in a root is root hair, epidermis, epiblum, cortex, endodermis, pericycle and lastly the vascular tissue in the center of a root to transport the water absorbed by the root to other places of the plant. Root growth. Early root growth is one of the functions of the apical meristem located near the tip of the root. The meristem cells more or less continuously divide, producing more meristem, root cap cells, and undifferentiated root cells. The latter become the primary tissues of the root, first undergoing elongation, a process that pushes the root tip forward in the growing medium. Gradually these cells differentiate and mature into specialized cells of the root tissues. There is correlation of roots using the process of plant perception to sense their physical environment to grow, including the sense area of light, and physical barriers. Plant roots will generally grow in any direction where the correct environment of air, mineral nutrients and water exists to meet the plant's needs. Roots will shy or shrink away from dry, or other poor soil conditions. Over time, given the right conditions, roots can crack foundations, snap water lines, and lift sidewalks. At germination, roots grow downward due to gravitropism, the growth mechanism of plants that also causes the shoot to grow upward. In some plants, the root actually clings to walls and structures. Growth from apical meristemes is known as primary growth which encompasses all elongation. Secondary growth encompasses all growth in diameter, a major component of woody plant tissues and many woody plants. For example, storage roots of sweet potato have secondary growth but are not woody. Secondary growth occurs at the lateral meristemes, namely the vascular cambium and cork cambium. The former forms secondary xylem and secondary phloem, while the latter forms the periderm. In plants with secondary growth, the vascular cambium, originating between the xylem and the phloem, forms a cylinder of tissue along the stem and root. The vascular cambium forms new cells on both the inside and outside of the cambium cylinder, with those on the inside forming secondary xylem cells, and those on the outside forming secondary phloem cells. As secondary xylem accumulates, the girth of the stem and root increases. As a result, Tissues beyond the secondary phloem tend to be pushed outward and are eventually sloughed off. At this point, the cork cambium begins to form the periderm, consisting of protective cork cells containing subarin. In roots, the cork cambium originates in the pericycle, a component of the vascular cylinder. The vascular cambium produces new layers of secondary xylem annually. The xylem vessels are dead at maturity but are responsible for most water transport through the vascular tissue in stems and roots. Types of roots A true root system consists of a primary root and secondary roots. The diffuse root system, the primary root is not dominant. The whole root system is fibrous and branches in all directions. Most common in monocots. The main function of the fibrous root is to anchor the plant. Specialized roots. The roots, or parts of roots, of many plant species have become specialized to serve adaptive purposes besides the two primary functions described in the introduction. Adventitious roots arise out of sequence from the more usual root formation of branches of a primary root, and instead originate from the stem, 
branches, leaves, or old woody roots. They commonly occur in monocots and pteridophytes, but also in many dicots, such as clover, ivy, strawberry and willow. Most aerial roots and stilt roots are adventitious. In some conifers adventitious roots can form the largest part of the root system. Aerating roots, roots rising above the ground, especially above water such as in some mangrove genera. In some plants like Avicennia the erect roots have a large number of breathing pores for exchange of gases. Aerial roots, roots entirely above the ground, such as in ivy or in epiphytic orchids. Many aerial roots, are used to receive water and nutrient intake directly from the air, from fogs, dew or humidity in the air. Some rely on leaf systems to gather rain or humidity and even store it in scales or pockets. Other aerial roots, such as mangrove aerial roots, are used for aeration and not for water absorption. Other aerial roots are used mainly for structure, functioning as prop roots, as in maize or anchor roots or as the trunk in strangler fig in some epiphytes, plants living above the surface on other plants, aerial roots serve for reaching to water sources or reaching the surface, and then functioning as regular surface roots. Contractile roots, they pull bulbs or corms of monocots, such as hyacinth and lily, and some tap roots, such as dandelion, deeper in the soil through expanding radially and contracting longitudinally. They have a wrinkled surface. Coarse roots, roots that have undergone secondary thickening and have a woody structure. These roots have some ability to absorb water and nutrients, but their main function is transport and to provide a structure to connect the smaller diameter, fine roots to the rest of the plant. Fine roots, primary roots usually less than two in diameter that have the function of water and nutrient uptake. They are often heavily branched and support mycorrhizas. These roots may be short-lived, but are replaced by the plant in an ongoing process of root turnover. Horstorial roots, roots of parasitic plants that can absorb water and nutrients from another plant, such as in mistletoe and odia. Propagative roots, roots that form adventitious buds that develop into above-ground shoots, termed suckers, which form new plants, as in Canada thistle, cherry and many others. Protoid roots or cluster roots, dense clusters of rootlets of limited growth that develop under low phosphate or low iron conditions in Proteaceae and some plants from the following families Betulaceae, Casuarinaceae, Eliagnaceae, Morassae, Fabaceae and Miracaceae. Stilt roots, these are adventitious support roots, common among mangroves. They grow down from lateral branches, branching in the soil. Storage roots, these roots are modified for storage of food or water, such as carrots and beets. They include some tap roots and tuberous roots. Structural roots, large roots that have undergone considerable secondary thickening and provide mechanical support to woody plants and trees. Surface roots, these proliferate close below the soil surface, exploiting water and easily available nutrients. Where conditions are close to optimum in the surface layers of soil, the growth of surface roots is encouraged and they commonly become the dominant roots. Tuberous roots, a portion of a root swells for food or water storage, for example sweet potato. A type of storage root distinct from taproot. Rooting depths. The distribution of vascular plant roots within soil depends on plant form, the spatial and temporal availability of water and nutrients, and the physical properties of the soil. The deepest roots are generally found in deserts and temperate coniferous forests. The shallowest in tundra, boreal forest and temperate grasslands. The deepest observed living root, at least 60 meters below the ground surface, was observed during the excavation of an open pit mine in Arizona, USA. Some roots can grow as deep as the tree is high. The majority of roots on most plants are however found relatively close to the surface where nutrient availability and aeration are more favorable for growth. Rooting depth may be physically restricted by rock or compacted soil close below the surface, or by anaerobic soil conditions. Rooting depth records. Root architecture. In its simplest form, the term root architecture refers to the spatial configuration of a plant a Euro unregistered trademark S root system. 
This system can be extremely complex and is dependent upon multiple factors such as the species of the plant itself, the composition of the soil and the availability of nutrients. Root architecture plays the important role of providing a secure supply of nutrients and water as well as anchorage and support. The main terms used to classify the architecture of a root system are, branch magnitude, the number of links. Topology, the pattern of branching, including, herringbone alternate lateral branching off a parent root, dichotomous, opposite, forked branches, radial, whirl, s, of branches around a root, link length, the distance between branches. Root angle, the radial angle of a lateral root a euro unregistered trademark s base around the parent root a euro unregistered trademark s circumference, the angle of a lateral root from its parent root, and the angle an entire system spreads. Link radius, the diameter of a root. All of these components are regulated through a complex interaction between genetic responses and responses due to environmental stimuli. These developmental stimuli are categorized as intrinsic, the genetic and nutritional influences, or extrinsic, the environmental influences and are interpreted by signal transduction pathways. The extrinsic factors that affect root architecture include gravity, light exposure, water and oxygen, as well as the availability of nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, aluminium and sodium chloride. The main hormones and respective pathways responsible for root architecture development include, or in a euro or in promotes root initiation, root emergence and primary root elongation. Cytokinins A euro cytokinins regulate root apical meristem size and promote lateral root elongation. Gibberellins A euro together with ethylene they promote crown primordia growth and elongation. Together with oin they promote root elongation. Gibberellins also inhibit lateral root primordial initiation. Ethylene A euro ethylene promotes crown root formation. The configuration of root systems is important to support the plant, compete with other plants and for uptake of nutrients from the soil. Roots grow to specific conditions, which, if changed, can impede a plant's growth. For example, a root system that has developed in dry soil may not be as efficient in flooded soil, however, plants are still able to adapt to changes in the environment, such as seasonal changes. Certain plants, namely for bacilli, form root nodules in order to associate and form a symbiotic relationship with nytrogen-fixing bacteria called rhizobia. Due to the high energy required to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere, the bacteria take carbon compounds from the plant to fuel the process. In return, the plant takes nitrogen compounds produced from ammonia by the bacteria. Tree roots usually grow to three times the diameter of the branch spread, only half of which lie underneath the trunk and canopy. The roots from one side of a tree usually supply nutrients to the foliage on the same side. Some families however, such as Sapindaceae, show no correlation between root location and where the root supplies nutrients on the plant. Evolutionary History The fossil record of roots a euro, or rather, in filled voids where roots rotted after death a euro spans back to the late Silurian, but their identification is difficult because casts and molds of roots are so similar in appearance to animal burrows a euro although they can be discriminated on the basis of a range of features. Economic Importance The term root crops refers to any edible underground plant structure, but many root crops are actually stems, such as potato tubers. Edible roots include cassava, sweet potato, beet, carrot, rutabaga, turnip, parsnip, radish, yam and horseradish. Spices obtained from roots include sassafras, angelica, sarsaparilla and licorice. Sugar beet is an important source of sugar. Yam roots are a source of estrogen compounds used in birth control pills. The fish poison and insecticide rod known is obtained from roots of Lonchocarpus spp. Important medicines from roots are ginseng, aconite, ipecac, gentian and recipine. Several legumes that have nitrogen-fixing root nodules are used as green manure crops, which provide nitrogen fertilizer for other crops when plowed under. Specialized bald cypress roots, termed knees, are sold as souvenirs, lamp bases and carved into folk art. 
Native Americans used the flexible roots of white spruce for basketry. Tree roots can heave and destroy concrete sidewalks and crush or clog buried pipes. The aerial roots of Strangler fig have damaged ancient Mayan temples in Central America and the Temple of Angkwot in Cambodia. Trees stabilize soil on a slope prone to landslides. The root hairs work as an anchor on the soil. Vegetative propagation of plants via cuttings depends on adventitious root formation. Hundreds of millions of plants are propagated via cuttings annually including chrysanthemum, poinsettia, carnation, ornamental shrubs and many house plants. Roots can also protect the environment by holding the soil to prevent soil erosion. This is especially important in areas such as sand dunes. See also, cypress knee, drought rhizogenesis, fibrous root system, mycoeza euro root symbiosis in which individual hyphae extending from the mycelium of a fungus colonize the roots of a host plant. Plant physiology, rhizosphere euro region of soil around the root influenced by root secretions and microorganisms present, root cutting, rooting powder, stalon. Tainer de Effect, Taproot, Notes. References, Dennis D. Baldicke and Lai Yu Kang Zhu 2007. What Limits Evaporation from Mediterranean Oak Woodlands A Euro The Supply of Moisture in the Soil, Physiological Control by Plants or the Demand by the Atmosphere. Vol 30, Issue 10. Elsevier, Brundrett, MC 2002. Coevolution of Roots and Mycohyzas of Land Plants. New Phytologist 154, 2, 275 Euro 304. Full text, Chen, R. E. Rosen, P. H. Masson. 1999. Gravitropism in Higher Plants. Plant Physiology 120, 343 Euro 350. Full text, a Euro article about how the root sense gravity. Clark, Lynn 2004. Primary Root Structure and Development A Euro Lecture Notes, Coots, M. Pages 1987. Developmental Processes in Tree Root Systems. Canadian Journal of Forest Research 17, 761 A Euro 767. Raven, J. A., D. Edwards 2001. Roots, Evolutionary Origins and Biogeochemical Significance. Journal of Experimental Botany 52, 381 Euro 401. Full text, Schenk, H. J., and R. B. Jackson 2002. The Global Biogeography of Roots. Ecological Monograph 72, 311 Euro 328. Sutton, R. F., and R. W. Tinnis. 1983. Root and Root System Terminology. Forest Science Monograph 24 pages 137. Phillips, W.S. 1963. Depth of Roots in Soil. Ecology 44, 424. External links, Botany A Euro University of Arkansas at Little Rock, Time Lapse Photography of Root Growth on YouTube.